Hello, I'm Sacho Luis Noguera Serrano, president of the European Bouguet Society. And we are here at Humbu Dojo in Valencia, Spain. And we are working hard in use in, with the purpose of offering you all of our tradition with a very, this kind of videos with, with uh, small details about the ideas that we have to offer for all of you. And uh, we would like to share with you today Mm, uh, this uh, an explanation regarding uh, what is Kopo Jutsu Chuden methods. We have offered you in the past, uh, I think, uh, tens of videos of Kopo Jutsu that most of you you have liked because it's a very very interesting, a very impressive discipline that covers uh, violent strikes and of course some kind of manipulations that uh, brings. Uh, very powerful uh, ways to break bones. Then it's an amazing uh, study that cover a very very deep uh, tradition how to attack the enemy in different perspectives. I would like today to remark especially uh, the difference between the southern methods to the Tudan methods. First of all uh, are normal, a very often uh, confusion to the to the practitioner, the younger practitioner, and also the the follower. It's that uh, all of them believe that a kopo jutsu is based on kata, in forms in seite gata, and despite having several forms, several kata that the ancient master used to employ as a way to teach the students the most proper way to, to learn Kopo Jutsu it's about using the methods. Remember that Kopo is composed by Ko that, that comes from Kotsu, Hone, that means bones and this Po that comes from Ho that is method, method of the bones. Then all these methods are ways that the, that the ancient uh, used to understand as a way to, to, to injure the bone and structural uh, system of the enemy as a way to uh, uh, generate uh, and I, uh, to be unable the enemy to hold especially the weapons and fight against uh, these uh, the, these uh, citizens, the, all uh, all this uh, population that uh, defend against the the enemies. Then uh, in so then we have covered uh, thousands of manipulations, thousands of strikes that are different to the methods employed in Chuden graduation. Chuden is the middle tradition, the inner tradition, and we will cover other kind of studies, other kind of methods that change completely the ideas that we have been offering in Southern. Con concerning all these methods, we haven't offered before many information about that. Then today we are offering especially uh, an information never seen before. First of all, uh, we have to make the difference between the Soden and the Tuden that the Soden normally offer uh, the ideas to break completely the, the structural system, I mean the bones and the skeletal system. On Tuden levels we will uh, cover tearing, breaking, smashing soft tissues and soft areas making deep uh, deep uh, tears in the in the in the skin deep tears in the muscle area especially when we have uh, areas without bones the attacks usually are uh, focused on the eye and the eyes on the mouth on the nose on the ear that we have on this side of the face and other sides of the body maybe uh, rubbing uh, the skin uh, on on weak uh, on weak sides weak areas of the body we will we will have a different perspective on kopo jutsu they uh, the ancient usually employ 
uh, a weapon that was called uh, Xi Jin. Xi Jin, this Xi comes from Yubi, that means uh, a finger, and this Jin comes from from uh, from uh, Xin, that uh, that means needle. That's a needle on the on the on the fingers that were usually employed to to thrust inside those weak areas that I have explained before, in order to to tear or to go deeply and, of course, injure seriously uh, the enemy. We, I have here a hasi. This is not the length that must have uh, a, a shijin, but it's close to the idea because we have um, um, accurate tip or near an accurate tip and it's uh, more or less the, the, um, uh, the, the form, the shape that uh, the ancient, uh, this ancient weapon was usually employed. In the modernity, they used to employ more from iron or from uh, metal uh, allies that, not, that in the ancient only have especially wooden uh, like spines, like uh, thorns from the, from the trees employed for that purpose. As I have explained before, we, this is longer than the normal, uh, the, the normal length that was usually employed because this we will need to, to support on the, on the forearm or on the wrist in order to, to put aside, along, all your hand in order to trust. Of course, this will be sl sliding maybe at the end. The idea would be to to be a stop on the base of the hand, mainly on the on the on the uh, on the bones of the hand that could cover. Then the length need to be uh, around at this point two fingers more than the than the the fingertips. Then, as I have explained, this was usually employed to thrust deeply in the soft issues and usually was, uh, was uh, employed uh, with poison in the tip, with the idea of generating uh, some kind of dysfunctional, uh, dysfunction sorry, on the nervous system. The Kopoyutsu Tsuden uh, methods usually employ a different perspective than the Soden. The Soden war was more focused on, on war methods. I mean, when we have to defend against an attacker that has uh, a war purpose. But these student methods were developed when in situations more evolved, more modern, when the attacks could be covered, when the, the zone, the situation was crowded because all, uh, all these, uh, uh, all these uh, circumstances were more subtle. They were not as, uh, as, um, as they were not shown uh, these methods as a, as a very, very clear perspective because they need to hide between the crowds in order don't be uh, don't be a uh, target. Then, when the attacker was offering, uh, was trying to 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 hurt one of the Kopoyut's practitioners, the the Kopoyut student help methods. These methods, those methods, uh, were uh, have the the goal to be very 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 discreet, not offering situation that will alert the rest of the um, population aside. Then uh, it needs a lot to, to be hidden from, the, from what was happening. Then the movements were as uh, a very, very, uh, a very natural circumstances, making wrist locks, making breaking the, the fingers and at the same time striking to one side to the other, but like a like a very very uh, normal movement as a natural movement. Then, for example, we will need 
to, to cover. Let's go here, that side. For example, the, the, the partner, in this case, I will ask for help to Sensei Rebecca, please. She will be my partner here in order to understand. For example, if, uh, if she tries, for example, to, to uh, maybe to grab on my, on my wrist, on that point, we will take a look on the following thing. Of course, in Kopo Jutsu Shogun methods, we will usually try to strike, strike one here, one more time, and this kind. But of course, this will be uh, very, very um, uh, clear to all the crowd around uh, that we were fighting. And the proposal on this Kopo is not on to be to be obvious for everyone that we are fighting. Let's take a look, for example, when we see it coming here, I will pass and this will break. At the same time, sorry here, I will only move a little in order to, to, be, to show to the camera what was happening. I will be breaking here, passing here to grab here the fingers, and at the same point I could strike on this, on this side. As I have explained, I could tear the the eye, tear the, the ear, uh, having the hand on this, on this, on, uh, on, the, on the clavicle, I could strike to this point, and of course, when we are out, I could break and walk away. This will happen only in, in, uh, in seconds. We will not be being involved in a, in a long, uh, battle in a long fight. We will need to do it very, very fast. This happens very fast. When it's coming, one, I break here, break, 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 break. And I walk away, hiding myself around with the crowd. This is an important part or an important side of what is uh, the Chuden method. For example, other important thing regarding the Shoden, for example, when she tries maybe to strike in me, we will use employ this kind of strike or this kind of strike that we have studied and we have seen uh, hundreds of times in our Kopo Jutsu videos and our Kopo Jutsu Shoden proposals. But for the uh, uh, for the Kopo Jutsu Chuden method, we have to move in the emptiness. We cannot be moving with uh, the idea of blocking with that uh, that kind of of uh, of, uh, of linear system. What we will do is to look for the emptiness. When she is trying, I will strike here without without any kind. Of, uh, without any kind of, uh, of uh, block. We will look for the weak points uh, on, on this, uh, for example, on the ribs. For example, if she is trying to, to strike with a mako, I will strike at that point, sorry, looking for the nervous systems because she will try to Tag me, and she will find herself the the right point. And we will need to care about uh, about to stop, like in Kopo Jutsu, so the method. We only put right we have here, and also a very characteristical uh, characteristical uh, perspective. On the student methods is to use uh, uh, opposite directions. For example, if we have here, this could uh, break to one side and after break to the other, there are opposite directions. This is a very, very uh, common in student methods, and it would be employed in different different circumstances. The last thing that I will explain because this is a very very wide study. And we don't have so much time to to learn uh, to to explain 
is uh, about uh, what it's called a ketsujin. That ketsujin means the employment of the uh, a rope that, uh, that is usually employed as a complement to the kopojutsu because this is not kotsujin, it's not kopojutsu, but was considered kopojutsu because the kopojutsu masters used to teach by themselves to the, to the students. But the proposal, moreover, it could be also used to break with the, with the rope uh, bones. The idea here was to restrain, to restrain the enemy when the bones are broken. For example, we want, I will only, this could be a tatsuki, that is not the, mo the most correct because the ancient will say that it, this could be uh, 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 what is called gyojo, that was like a fisherman, a fisherman robe, these nets and all these things. But if we use a satatsuki, we will need to put around our, our shoulders and we will employ for the following facts. For example, if she tries, for example, to grab my lapel here, I will do, for example, this kind of movements that I will bro break uh, the fingers. I will have this on this side and I will pass around in order to restrain the hand. From here, this goes around and we have this control. Here is very, very hard. She could, for example, try to strike by this side. I go here and help myself to pass around and have this hard control. Take a look here. We have here. This is a very, very hard position. Of course, all those fingers will be broken before the rope is closed, because if not, it doesn't make sense. We need to, to, to break before uh, making the control, because uh, that, uh, that uh, restriction with the rope was usually employed for uh, being a very, a very, uh, to tie the enemy at the end and making it impossible for the other to react and having conditions maybe to grab something or attack in other, uh, another kind of circumstances. In this case, we are using for not damaging uh, myself a uh, rubber band, so uh, you can see better how it's working. Yes, in this case, we are not using uh, uh, an special, we are using an elastic uh, rope uh, for not uh, injuring uh, the partner. But of course, we will use in the past ropes that also will be ab uh, abrasive. Then this is the idea. Then, uh, for the last thing, the last technique explained today is the following. One more time, we will have the rope tied around as a tatsuki here. And in this case, uh, my partner, Rebecca san, sensei, will grab in this side, okay? For here, what I will do is to to control on the on the on the fingers in order to break and having the tasuki here, I will keep this control. I could do it by this way or grabbing in the other side, I could pass here and right now have this control. Now I have the other hand here and with this I take on the fingers. Now I close and we will have this control. Take a look for the camera. We have the control on the hand and on the other side we have this. In the first control that we have performed we have took the, the fingers and the other fingers. Now we are employing the other wrist in order to have this control on these fingers with the idea of having this control 
and of course uh, throwing to the ground and having this, this strong control. Then those are a uh, first perspective, a uh, first vision regarding what it's cool for you to do that method. I hope you have enjoyed, you have understood what we are trying to explain you here and thank you very much for all your attention. Keep following our channel and we are ready for any questions you you will you will ask. Thank you very much.